<laughs> I want to thank my family and my friends for always supporting me, hearing my rages and my complaints, and letting me be me. And my husband always tells me, Toots, you can't save the world, but you can save a little corner of your universe. So that's what I do every day. I want to thank my coworkers for, again, letting me be me. They listen to my rages and complaints about life kind of sucks sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and how it is important for us to help our client. And I want to thank past and present, the people that I work with, they allow me in their homes. They give me hope for humanity. They are my heroes every day. 20 years ago, Sandra Shaw and her team hired me as a case manager, supported employment specialist, and um, psychosocial. There are so many F words that I can describe my job. <laughs> <laughs> One of these words is, at times, my job is really fantastic. It's fantastic when someone you work with passed all their credits at the university. It's fantastic when a client has worked for 13 years and loved the job and find an employer that is so, so supportive. It is fantastic when a client attended a family wedding and for the first time they were not asked to leave. You know how great that is? <laughs> it's fantastic when someone you work with saves three months of her money so she can go to eat to places like Tellers and Free State and she said, it's the only time I can really feel normal, whatever normal is. I can still hear the voices, but the people in the restaurant doesn't know that. They nod at me and say hi. <laughs> and I thought, wow, those are the things we take for granted. Another F word that I can describe my job is my job at times, it's really fun. It's really funny. Uh, when I used to do psychosocial, we had a group every Friday, we played softball in the community. It was through parks and recreation. Uh, as we were having a meeting, our first team meeting, we were talking about the name of our team and a lot of suggestions, the dream team, the nutsos, or whatever. But somebody came up with the Almond Joy. And I said, what in the world is an Almond Joy? because sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. <laughs> and so we were the Almond Joy. We played every Friday night. I recruited my friends and family to volunteer like they had a choice. Uh, <laughs> my son Jake was three years old when, when uh, he first attended our our game and there was a client that was really afraid of bugs and she said, I, I don't think I can go because I'm afraid of bugs and I said, my son loves killing bugs. So she showed up and there he was, he, he killed bugs. And I remember when my daughter was a teenager and I had to ground her and one of the things that I, I asked her to do is she had to volunteer at the center and she did. At first she really did not like me for a long time because I made her do things. But after a while, she said, Mom, I really like volunteering there. Now, because of that, she works for Community Works. And I said, why in the world would you want to be a social worker? I said, because, Mom, I get it. I get it. Helping folks, you get it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's pretty cool. And then, OK, one, soft, one night, we're playing softball. This is funny. Uh, there was a client that just got out of Topeka State. Remember Topeka State? And he wanted to play softball with us. And I said, OK, but you have to listen to the coaches. And so we explained to him how, you know, how to play softball. And he came on bat, hit the ball. He hit it on, on left, left field, and nobody could catch the ball. So everybody said, run home, run home. 
and bless his heart, he ran home to Fourth and Arkansas. <laughs> he really did, he really did. But, and then so we had to have a proxy runner and he won the game for us. <laughs> Every time I watch the movie G.I. Jane with Demi Moore, I think about Sandra Shaw. I'm like, oh my God, Sandra Shaw is the original G.I. Jane. <laughs> Powerful, not afraid of anything, relentless, and pioneered so many things. And I think about her every time I watch that movie. Truly pioneered. Um, a couple years ago, I was at the <coughs> parking lot and I saw this woman coming out of her car, and I, she was, the way she, she carried herself, stunning and beautiful, and she was smiling, and it was raining. And I thought, and I thought, wow, what a hot chick. <laughs> and then I discovered it was Sandra Shaw, and I had to tell her. And so, of course, we hugged, and we kissed, and we giggled, and we talked about our family. I don't get to meet a lot of hot chicks in my lifetime. That is, that is powerful and beautiful and, and not afraid of anything. About 10 years ago, I, there was a woman that came to our center. She was in her late 50s. She just got out of, of uh, Topeka State. And she was telling me that she was having difficulty with her employer. She, they were giving her a hard time about missing a lot of, a lot of time. And so we, we, we were talking, and this is a woman that had a good career, raised three kids, beautiful home and a husband, and survived cancer. And she was telling me when she was going through chemo, she, people were lining up to cook for her, mow her lawn, do her laundry, do everything. You know, She felt loved and supported. And then a few years later, her husband left her and she became very depressed and took an overdose. When she came home, the first thing that her daughter said to her, how disappointed she was of her mom. Can you imagine when we survive cancer or heart attack, somebody tells you we're, we're disappointed in you? We need to change things because she said to me, I want to change the atmosphere of shame and guilt. And we have work to do, people. Even our own community hospital here does not see a dire need of, of health services. We have work to do. My niece, at 28, died of depressive, major depressive disorder. And it brought shame and guilt to my family. And I thought, you know, when her mom died the same year, nobody was ashamed that she died of cancer. So again, we have work to do. I, when I see the Nash Dash every year, I wanna see that as a national event, like the Relay for Life. You know, can you imagine us going to a, a major grocery store or a Dairy Queen and somebody will ask you, would you like to donate money for mental health services instead of diabetes or heart attacks. We have work to do. Each and every one of you here came here because you know that the center is important to the community. So I encourage each and every one of you to continue the legacy of, of all this family because they pioneered what we're doing here. So I hope that next year, the Nash Dash will have more support and, and cooperation from the community. And let's not be afraid to be an Almond Joy. Thank you. Thank you.